So we all know right now this character has to be like the most busted unbalanced thing you can play at the moment. Just because you can just grab somebody from across the map and then start a free combo off like that. <laughs> yeah, um, that's that's the most dumbest thing ever. At this point, it was understandable because he couldn't really combo extend or one shot you. But as time went by and we learned how to combo extend with two, which I don't know how people figured it out, but hey, it's the ABA community. We find ways to combo extend with the weirder stuff ever. It's weird that this this can somehow combo extend. I don't know how, but it, it just works. After that, I, I think he just deserves some nerve. They're going to keep that combo in the game. I don't think that she be allowed. You should be allowed to have a free guard breaking move that can pretty much reach you across the map if you're playing rank and a move that can pretty much go through your pretty much anybody's block in the game too like this move his one his weak repel just pretty much goes through any block in the game why is this why is it named weak repel if this move can just pretty much just go through any block in the game and kill anybody below yellow health <laughs> how is that a weak repel bro so yeah and that's just a base worm like i'm just lost for words that's a mention he can pretty much awaken at any percent he wants so if he's, he's down to his last stock it doesn't, it doesn't matter if he's missing like 20 percent of his awakening he can still awaken and then reverse stock you and then win the game because he's he can stay in his awakening for like hours because if he does enough damage towards you he can sustain his awakening till the end of the match my top five really consists of who can give out the best counter that just makes it so a mob cannot touch you at all and gives you a small benefit if you can one shot with your counter and if the awakening of the said character is good enough to compete with mobs awakening because at some point you're gonna fight the mob awakening because there's no other way to actually win when against a mob that is on their last stock without them using their awakening because at any time a mob can pop their awakening and just easily reverse stock you if you don't play smart in fifth place which is kidder b main reason why is because whenever kidder b does his counter he gets he gains a small bar of awakening so each time a mob tries to grab you it's just free awakening game for you but the downside of using this character is that you have to M1 in order to actually do your one shot against a mob player and that's a scary thing to do. I feel like Killer B has to be one of the better characters to actually fight against a mob without worrying about being grabbed 24-7. That's my top 5 character. Alright, <sighs> top 4. Now, it was really, it was really, really hard for him to choose if this character would belong on the top five instead of top being top four but i feel like his kit allows him to actually play more aggressive towards mob and not worrying about his against his moves and that's gonna be aizen aizen has evasive so yeah that just automatically makes him better and he has a counter that can pretty much counter anything in the game as soon as you see the grab, just use your two and you should be fine. If you can't time it, that's kind of a skill issue. And his awakening. His awakening just lets your hit an awakening. His character just becomes busted where he can just have it on him all, at all times because he has like it's like a five second cooldown, maybe. It's like it's a slow cooldown. And you won't have to worry about anything else as long as you have that up. So the mob can't really do nothing about him. And you can just like out outrun the mob and just let his awakening go down. So yeah. Downside is I guess to actually M M1 with him too. So yeah, pick your poison. Uh, let's get into the top three. Lamidian. Lamidian pretty much has two evasives in the game. His dive just ignores anything in the game. And yes, it's true because I tested it. So once you use dive, the mod player can't grab you. And if he does grab you, it's not going to do anything because for some reason, whenever you dive with a Midian, even if you get grabs, you just take an inch of damage and you'll be fine. He will, you won't get smacked to the ground. So yeah, and then he has his full evasive move, which pretty much allows him to become God for a second <laughs> and not be touched by anything. So yeah, one good way to start out the match with against a mob player, and he does pretty good damage. He can use power now since power can combo extend. He he can dish out pretty good damage, and if you're good enough, you can combo extend with your two, which is phantom phantom crush i believe you can combo in with it so yeah downside is that uh, you'll probably have a better time fighting a mob if you're in base form than awakening but that's just overall me but yeah 
overall better character than Aizen because you don't really have to worry about doing much with Lemillion. You can just put yourself on autopilot mode with Lemillion. Let's get to top. Let's get into this uh, second character. Okay, second character. Kiritsu, Kiritsugu, or whatever his name is. Or you can just call him Master Chief if you have a legendary skin. Just call him Master Chief. <laughs> I'm not going to bother pronouncing the guy's name, but yeah. So Master Chief uh, is like one of the better ways to counter against mob because no matter how far you are you can always just sub machine him and yeah he won't be able to do a thing about it i had better chances of winning with master chief than i did with most of the characters i played with just because how broken master chief awakening is he pretty much becomes the m1 god with his what's it called his triple head rate not to mention you can still combo in with your rapid fire if you use your two so if they're like near death you know you can just down smash into your triple accelerate and then rapid fire them and then just do another combo up tilt and then do another combo and then uh yeah that pretty much kills them <laughs> that's not really much to talk about master chief because it's really simple just do enough damage to get your awakening and once you get awakening you're pretty much gucci because you get all track m1 combos that can pretty much be comboed into anything so yeah let's get into the last character the last character is kojo yeah infinity actually works against grab i thought infinity doesn't work but it turns out it does and whenever they just do infinity against you you can just up tilt them down smash or knock away into backhand and then just do another combo collapse blue and then do another combo and then finish off with a red reversal <laughs> and just repeat that each time because whenever you use infinity and it actually hits you pretty much get it back for free and yeah that just makes character the number one pick for countering against mob so yeah the thing is though they can ban gojo but you can always switch to a different character on the list and hopefully win against them I, I, i'll pick master chief maybe i feel like master chief can have a better chance of fighting against them especially against awakening but yeah that's overall my opinion on the top five characters to count against mob <laughs> so yeah overall this is just my list on who to pick if you're fighting against a mob player at the end of, at the end of the day you can just ban mob if you want but I'd rather, f I don't know, I don't know who I'd rather fight, a Majin Vegeta or a mob, it's just up to you, <laughs> it's up to, it's up to you who you don't want to fight, I feel like they should add more bands to the game, where we have more, or more opportunity to fight different characters instead of the same broken characters over and over, at least like give us like three bands per, per person, so we can just ban three characters, just like, it'll be much more helpful than having to just fight the same character over, over and over. But yeah, this is just over my this is just overall my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please consider dropping a like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys for I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.